good morning. Welcome to Monday Minutes with Jesse and Kelly. I'm Kelly. And I'm Jesse. And in today's session, we are going to talk to you about setting up SMS messages and notices in your Koha system. Great. This is going to be exciting, Jesse. How, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing, Kelly? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Um, so let's jump right in. So the first thing we're going to show you is in admin administration, what you need to set up. So Kelly, let's start with the system preference first. I, if you just search SMS, there's not other system preferences that have that SMS. So we'll see both the SMS send driver and then the SMS send username password. We do not need to deal with the second one. We are just going to make sure if we want to activate SMS messaging, which is a free service in Koha, we were going to just put in the word email in that SMS send driver with a capital E. Perfect. And for those of you who are curious about how this works, it's using an email gateway. So what happens is Koha will send an email to the SMS provider. So like T-Mobile, Sprint, um, AT&T, whatever your provider is, it will send an email out. So let's make sure that system preference is saved. And then the next step we're going to do is we're going to go back to administration and we're going to scroll down to your additional parameters. Once you set that system preference, a new link will populate and that's called SMS cellular providers. It won't be there if you do not have this system preference set. I've had that freak out going, where is it? I don't know where this is. Yes. Your site, oops, sorry, Jesse. I was just going to say, once that populates, you can add in SMS providers. Now, Kelly and I have a few in here to show as an example, um, but you can hit this new SMS provider and then add that additional information in. So, Kelly, let's talk about the domain information. Yeah, so this is actually how the email is constructed. So it's grabbing that what is called a domain, and it's going to attach their cell phone number of your patron to going to that through an email. So it's very, very unique way to send an SMS notice that we can think of, but this is how it works. Um, if you do not have a provider that's listed here and you need to find out the domain of a specific carrier, we will share um, in the Koha manual. There are more, so Vir Virgin Mobile, um, Altel. So those SMS gateway domains are found in the um, manual and we'll add that link to our um, blog post. And there is another site that you could go ahead and add your country and your carrier and it will prop populate those gateways as well. So at t you'll see um, gate number at page.attnt.net. We are just going to grab that you got it, Jesse. We're just going to grab that page.attnt.net. Don't want the at sign or we don't need that number. Perfect. And one thing to point out too, you'll be able to see the number of patrons that are utilizing that service um, that are entered in on the patron's account. Um, this will start to populate. So you can see right now we have four that are using T-Mobile. Mm -hmm. Something else to note is your, if you think that you have cell phone numbers already in your database for your patrons, this does not automatically um, opt them in to receive SMS notices. You actually have to choose to activate SMS notices to your patrons, which I think a lot of libraries appreciate that opt-in process. So let's, let's look at where we can where, set that up. So yeah. if you pull up a patron's account on the details tab, we do have that patron messaging preferences. Now you'll notice there's an SMS number down there. Now that we've turned SMS on, if we edit that, we're gonna have that SMS number and SMS provider. So we can add that information into the system. Yep. And then you would go ahead, just like with email, and determine which notices you would like to send that patron through SMS. One thing to point out here, if you do set it to unknown, no SMS message will be sent. Your, if you are allowing your patrons to adjust their messaging preferences from the OPAC, they can add their own SMS message, um, SMS number on the OPAC. Do we want to pop over there for a sec, Jesse? Yeah, let's, let's show that as well. So let's, we'll log in here real quick. Okay. 
and we're going to log in. And then we're going to come over here down to your messaging. Mm -hmm. And remember, you do have to have enhanced messaging in the OPAC turned on one of your system preferences in order for this to show. Um, you'll notice it tells you SMS, SMS provider. Um, and so you can see here, Tina's not following directions. Um, you do have to enter numbers only. Um, so we'll enter it as the 813-453-2222. Um, that SMS provider list will be there, same one that we've created. Um, and then we'll hit those submit changes. Cool. So you wanna enter both. Um, one last thing. So we've done the system preference. We've added the carriers. The one last thing we need to make sure is we have actual notices to send. So we'll have to set those up in our notices and slip under tools under notices and slips. I think, so, that, oops, go ahead. I was just going to say one of the most popular, I think, is hold available for pickup. We I was going to say the same thing. Because <laughs> we're twins. Because we're twins. twins. Um, so if we come to the hold notice and um, we come in here, you'll notice, uh, you know, if you didn't have the SMS turned on, this would be grayed out, or at least it would say it was. Kelly, what are some of the highlights you would say here for this? You would definitely want to keep it under 160 characters because you don't want to send them multiple messages. Like, like they could get six if it were something that you listed the titles, you listed due dates. So generally what libraries have done is what exactly what Jesse is going to say, hey, a hold is here. So they would get a message because I'm in my car, I get a message, I can drive right to the library. That's the advantage. I generally don't care what it is. I want, a, I want my hold. Um, but if you're adding title, then you're adding characters. So that really long book title, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows, is all those characters. So you could be adding up. So generally, you want to minimize what you're adding to your SMS notice. Perfect. And it will calculate, you'll notice now I'm at 39 characters, uh, which does not take into consideration the, the name of my branch. So if you have a really long name, just keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. um, but for now, ours is just main branch, so we stay under that limit. Um, and again, uh, message, subject, or, you know, we could add a hold. Yeah. Perfect. And then once we save that in there, that will be saved. Um, and then again, you can do that for anyone that you want to want to you know, add in there. Um, item checkout might be another popular one that people use. Um, you know, just make sure those are all set up. Uh, uh, just another thing is if you do have your enhanced messaging on your OPAC set up, you would probably want to make sure you had an SMS notice for all the ones that the patron could choose. Check in, check out, item do, pre-do, because a, a user may want to get those all through SMS and nothing through email. Um, and you can also send SMS overdues. Right, exactly, exactly. Kelly, is it worthwhile for us to talk about just the patron categories too? Because now it'll show up. Mm -hmm. um, again, if you want it to be a default of SMS, you know, you can come in and set that as a default. Now that SMS column will show down below as well. Absolutely. And if it has that patron in that category does not have an SMS number, it will not send it. So it's not hurting anything if you want to default an adult patron to always get an SMS hold. It's just a matter of once that SMS number is filled in and that SMS notice is filled in. All right. Excellent. Great. Um, we hope that you have learned a lot from our SMS setup. Yeah. Of course, of course, this is great. I'm so happy. And again, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out and submit a ticket to our partners from our partners. Okay, Kelly, thanks. Have a great day. Thanks, you too.